Look now. This will be hidden by concrete soon. Lift it up and slide it. At the Deer Creek Station construction sites, a lot of the work being done these days is underground, like this duct bank. So we run the conduit underground, and the duct bank is just a concrete encasement of all the a big grouping of conduits. Joel Volk is Basin Electric's electrical field engineer on site. He's in charge of projects like this one. Each of the tubes you see is a conduit. Each conduit will hold wires and conductors. And this one's probably one of the bigger ones that even a lot of the contractors said they've seen before. It was around 110 conduits. The conduits will run underneath the entire plant site, connecting systems, transmitting electricity and information. Volk says the wires may be fed through the conduits using vacuum. Manholes, like you see at the left of the screen, serve as easy access to the duct bank. Manholes are just basically used as a junction between the conduits. Sometimes if you get a really long pole, it's hard to, there's a lot of bends and the angles that, the longer poles, it's very hard to pull, so we put in manholes just to help transition from a, one conduit to a different area of the yard. Walls are being fitted around the duct bank and will soon be filled with concrete. That'll hold the conduits in place and protect them. In early November, the duct banks are about 60% complete. At Deer Creek Station, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen for Basin Electric.